What's up guys, Spencer here. We are here with uh, Matthew Gonzalez, known as Matty G, our uh, motor guy from Hobby Wing. Um, in today's video, we're gonna be talking a little bit about um, the modified rotor tuning options. Um, Matty's had plenty of experience in the last couple of years with tuning a lot of uh, rotors in the modified class. Um, Matty, do you wanna go in and talk about, about kind of what you've learned with the way the modified racing is going, um, talking about these newer rotors that we've been running. Um, yeah. Just... Yeah. Um, the, the whole titanium rotor thing, at, at least for me, started at the snowboards like this year. Uh, like Alex, Alex like Hagberg and Camp Anderson were talking about how they run them in 12 scale. Yeah. And it makes everything run more uh, efficient because those guys run a bunch of boost and turbo. And especially in one cell racing, uh, efficiency is a big deal. So with them uh, learning that and seeing how much more efficient it was on all, like the machines, and Alex was able to finally make an eight minute run. Uh, we were like, oh, okay, well, why not try it in like the off-road world? So then Brock ran them a track side when he was running uh, the belt version of the Schumacher car. Yep. And uh, he was always talking about how his brakes felt a little weird compared to most of us. So I, I felt like the titanium stuff for sure helped a lot with his braking compared to what he can do now with his shaft-driven car. So basically, initially kind of to make things a little bit easier for you guys watching, what we're talking about is the rotor magnet itself of a completely different material that comes different than in the box. Yeah. The, so ti the titanium is a different material, which it's not quite as strong of a magnetic force. Um, I don't know exactly all the things that are really going on with it, but Maddie, do you want to talk about what you're seeing when you put it on the motorizer when you do change the rotor? Um, and is there any changes that you make when you do make the change? Yeah. And, and to add to that, the rotors that come in the modified motors, unless you're running, I believe, a 3.5, most of them come with the 12.5 um, yeah. size of the, the, the rotor. And then these optional rotors that you can buy are the 12.3 titanium and the 12.5. The smaller that number is, the least aggressive that yeah. it gets. So your throttle, feel will be um, much smoother or softer feeling, and then your brake brakes will also feel the same softer. So if you had the stock rotor at 12.5 and the, the titanium rotor at 12.5, the difference right off the bat is the braking feel will be a lot smoother or softer feeling, and then your throttle will be a lot softer. Yeah. Um, so do you wanna talk about what you saw on the motorizer with the RPMs? And is there any other benefits that you see with the runtime or milliamp draw or amp draw um, from your end? Yeah, so uh, the titanium rotor is a, tita is a titanium shaft with the same neodymium uh, magnet on, sure. on like the bore. So uh, if you look at the part numbers between like the two, the rotor shaft will say 12.5BTB, uh, yep. and then the like steel stuff is BESB, just so to, if, if anyone gets a rotor and is like, oh, like what's like the difference? Um, what we see on the machines is that they're pulling less less amp draw like under load, which is always nice. Uh, you don't want to be pulling pulling a bunch of amperage, especially in in the high grip and the high, I would say stress of carpet racing, sure. or I mean even on on, on high grip dirt. Yeah. So uh, for sure, pulling less amp draw, uh, like the KV is also uh, higher, but that's because it's it's a weaker magnet field. Right. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what I noticed so far this weekend when, when I changed the, when Matt, when I had Matt change the rotors on my two wheel drive and four wheel drive this weekend, my two wheel drive, I went to the 12.3 titanium uh, rotor. And then on my four wheel drive, I went to the 12.5 titanium. Um, the reason for the 12.5, the bigger one in the four wheel drive class is because I feel like you can utilize some more braking over the, you know, than the two-wheel drive. So I didn't want to lose so much braking where it kind of faded. Um, but some of the other characteristics that I notice with changing the rotor is it does have more top speed, which sometimes, you know, like I don't really need the car to be faster. I just want it to be smoother. Yeah. So in this particular case, I it made the car a lot smoother and more manageable to drive. When I'm on the track, the car is actually having a lot less movement with the suspension because there's not a lot of direct power being laid down to the tires. But in spite of that, I've kind of had to drop my pinion gear 
you know, minus one. So on both cars, I dropped it one, you know, minus one tooth on the pinion because I didn't need it to be faster down the straightaway. Yeah. Um, but I still kept a super smooth feeling um, on the throttle and the braking side. Um, there were some adjustments that you can do um, if you wanted to bring back the feel, which I did kind of make my throttle and brake frequencies a little bit more aggressive. So I was running like 12 frequency and now I'm running um, 10 on the um, throttle frequency for that matter. And kind of the same rules applies for the, the braking. Um, so for those who do run like the 40 plus mod, you know, the 40 plus modified four wheel drive class or the two wheel drive classes at these INSs, or if you're a um, pro racer that doesn't live here in America or in Europe, um, whether you're racing on carpet or dirt, um, loose dirt, you know, you yeah. were mentioning that um, Davey was running it on the loose track. I don't know if he did. He ended up running, racing yeah. at the Worlds. Yeah. So there's been plenty of, um, you know, a couple of years of experience with Maddie running it. Um, I just rec recently got on this program. That's been pretty nice. Um, but for you guys that are watching, if you guys want to take your racing to the next level, definitely want to check out the Titanium Rotors. Um, they are listed on our website. Um, hobbywingdirect.com. Mm -hmm. Believe you can also purchase it from A Main Hobbies or check out your local hobby shop. Um, it's always preferred for um, yeah. the local the local racing to uh, keep uh, the hobby um, healthy and going. Um, but that's pretty much it. I really want to say thank you guys for tuning in, watching this video. Um, this is Maddie G, yep. and um, my name is Spencer Ifkin. We're on the Hobby Wing YouTube channel. Also, you can watch us on Facebook. Um, thanks again, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Yep. See you guys.